Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to DMG Chemistry Classes and in this video I am going to discuss the concept of chromophore, a very important concept in UV visual spectroscopy. And this word chromophore is derived from Greek word chromophorus, meaning color carrier. And any compound which absorbs light in the visual region appears color to the human eyes. And exact color of the compound depends upon the uh, wavelength of visible light absorbed. Okay, and initially this term chromophore was used uh, for the systems or groups which impart, imparts color to the organic compounds. For example, nitro group imparts yellow color to the compounds. So it was a chromophore. Likewise, aryl conjugated azo groups imparts color to uh, the azo dyes. So it was also a chromophore. So here we have aryl conjugated azo group. Okay. So this group is responsible for the color of azo dyes. So these were the chromophores. That is the groups which impart color to the organic compounds. But nowadays this term chromophore is used in a much broader sense and it is defined as any functional group that absorbs electromagnetic radiations in the UV visual region irrespective of the fact that whether it imparts color to the compound or not. Matlab, koi bhi functional group jo UV visual region mein uh, radiations ko absorb karta ho, wo chromophore hoga. Chahe wo uh, organic compounds ko color de ya na de. So this is the modern definition of chromophore. Okay, and here I have enlisted some of the chromophores. But before discussing the examples of of chromophore, uh, chromophores, if you are new on my channel, then please subscribe my channel and also uh, press the bell icon for the further notifications. And don't forget to like and share my videos. So friends, here I have enlisted some of the chromophores and the first one is ethylenic, okay? And it has a carbon-carbon double bond and the transition involved is pi to pi star and the lambda maximum for this transition is 175 nanometers and the molar extinction coefficient is 15,000. Uh, and second one is acetylenic and this chromophore has carbon-carbon triple bond and transition which it undergoes is pi to pi star and lambda maximum is 170 nanometers and molar extinction coefficient is 10,000. Okay, and you can clearly see that both these chromophores or functional groups they have pi bonds. So they have pi electrons that's why the transitions involved are pi to pi star. Okay, and next one is carbonyl group and you can clearly see here that in addition to pi bond this group uh, is also having the non-bonding electrons present on oxygen atom. So this group undergoes three types of electronic transitions. First one is pi to pi star uh, then n to pi star and then n to sigma star and these are the values of lambda maximum and the molar extinction coefficients of these transitions okay and there are number of uh, chromophores a long list is there and uh, which you can see in your book and these uh, values are called as literature values because these values of lambda maximum and molar extinction coefficients of different chromophores is available in literature okay and further if a number of compounds have or, or number of organic compounds have same functional groups then they will have almost same lambda maximum and the molar extinction coefficients okay and this concept is applied to determine the uh, uh, type of functional group or groups present in organic mo uh, molecule uh, with the help of uv visible spectroscopy matlab ye hua कि अगर हमारे पास बहुत सारे ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स हैं और उनमें एक ही प्रकार का अगर फंक्शनल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट है 
तो उनका जो लैमडा मैक्सिमम होगा वो ऑलमोस्ट लैमडा मैक्सिमम भी और मोलर एक्सटिंक्शन कॉफिशेंट भी लगभग सेम ही होगा और इस कॉन्सेप्ट को हम अप्लाई करते हैं किसी भी ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल में फंक्शनल ग्रुप को पता करने के लिए विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी ओके एंड वट वी डू डेट एस एक्सप्लेन विद एग्जाम्पल वी रिकॉर्ड द यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ द कंपाउंड ओके लाइक दिस सो हेयर अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस आई हैव एब्जॉर्वेंस अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस आई हैव बेव लेंथ and suppose i have recorded the uv spectrum of a compound and it is like this and this compound is having a uh, here uh, absorption peak and this lambda maximum is equal to 174 nanometers or it could be 175 nanometers also then i will compare the value of this lambda maximum and it is also having this molar extinction value equal to near about 15000 okay then i will compare the value of lambda maximum with the literature value and you can clearly see here that this lambda maximum and the molar extinction coefficient is matching here okay so i will know from this comparison that our Uh, organic molecule is having ethyly nick chromophore that is a carbon carbon double bond is present in the structure of the organic molecule likewise if the peak is obtained around 200 nanometers 280 nanometers uh, 280 nanometers with molar extinction coefficient equal to 15 or uh, near about 15 then we will compare the data with the literature value and you can clearly see that this uh, these values are matching here okay and from these values we will come to know that our molecule or organic molecule is having carbonyl group as the functional group present in it so in this way we can determine the functional group present in a um, organic molecule by comparing its lambda maximum with the literature values but unfortunately uh, almost all uh, chromophores except this your carbonyl group and azo groups absorbs below 220 nanometers okay so all chromophores or functional group they absorb below 220 nanometer and this is the reason which cannot be easily studied with the help of commercially available spectrophotometers and i have explained it uh, in one of the my videos when i discussed the principle of ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy there i told you that at 200 nanometers the oxygen starts absorbing uv radiations then we have to flush uh, the instrument with nitrogen so that the oxygen is removed from the instrument okay but at 150 uh, nanometers the nitrogen also start absorbing also starts absorbing uv radiations then uh, we have to evacuate the instrument completely there must be complete vacuum so that's why this reason that is reason below 220 nanometers cannot be studied with the help of commercially available spectrophotometers some special techniques are required but fortunately it is possible to increase the lambda maximum as well as the molar extinction coefficients by attaching some groups to the basic chromophores by replacing the hydrogen atoms present on the chromophore okay so we can increase the lambda maximum as well as the molar extinction coefficient so that uh, we can study those compounds well within the range of a commercially available spectrophotometer and these groups are called as oxochromes okay and uh, i will discuss this uh, concept of oxochrome in my next video okay so keep watching my videos like and share and subscribe my channel Thank you very much.